Hello everybody and welcome to Clear Path Guidance and Tarot. This is your monthly love reading for the sign of Leo for the month of June. Um, I would like to thank everybody for subscribing and liking my videos and commenting. I truly appreciate it. I, I do it for all of you. If it wasn't for you, I wouldn't be here. So I truly appreciate the loyalty to all of you and for watching my videos. A little bit about myself, if you're new to the channel or just came across this video, I am what's called a clairsentient, which means that I can feel, I can make predictions on past, present and future with feelings. So if you're in a relationship that's not going well or you're left out in the cold or you don't know what to think, um, I can tap into that person's energy, read their, read their feelings, not their thoughts. That's two different things. But I can feel what that person feels and tell you where that relationship could possibly go. These are just general readings. They are not meant for every Leo in the world. All right. So, uh, if this reading resonates with you, that's great. I'm happy to be able to give you a free reading. If it doesn't and you want to purchase a reading, go ahead, um, email me. My email will be at the bottom of the video in the text box. And I usually get back to you within 24 hours and I will uh, email you the instructions on how to get a reading. All right. I read people. I read energies. That's my strength. That's where I shine. And I also read tar tarot cards. I've been studying that for a long time as well. All right, so I'm using uh, the Witch's Tarot this month and also pulling one card from Doreen Virtue's Romance Angels. Okay, so the very first card I pulled here is the Empress, and she represents abundance in all things. She represents beauty, harmony, um, extravagance, luxury, sensual awareness, and it could be a month of that. Uh, but you have to make this happen. You know, you can't really sit, I sit on the sidelines and um, uh, and watch it happen. You have to make it happen. If this is uh, uh, a time that you're looking to have a baby, you want to uh, conceive, there she is. She's pregnant. So it could be the month for you to have that baby that perhaps you're dreaming of. All right. Okay. So that's the very first card. Very, very nice card. All right, and the next one is the shadow side, which is also representing the devil. Okay, so this card here talks about um, self-imposed bondage. All right, feeling like you're tied to a situation, uh, negative thinking, and this is telling you do not let it overpower you. Okay, don't, it's about being obsessed about something or someone, and um giving up control over the situation okay and uh and really it's like being chained to an addictive pattern or behavior and you just need to stop that thinking okay because it doesn't have to be like that don't let it overpower you if this is what you're wanting all right you can make it happen but don't let it overpower you okay all right and the third card is the wheel of fortune all three are major arcanas Okay, and um, this card is talking about, this is the Wheel of Fortune, which is saying that there is no certainty in life except uncertainty, all right? Um, and life is, is a const life is a constant change, but the Wheel of Fortune talks about a change of luck, good luck coming your way. And um, it's about a new adventure. Um taking advantage of chance, opportunity knocking, and unpredictable events. So this is you wanting this abundance, all right? Don't let it, don't let it take control of you, okay? Because there's something that's coming that gives you that opportunity. There's a, a, unpredictable events are coming, okay? It's about luck and chance, and, but we, have, we can have good fortune and bad fortune. All right. It is up to you to make choices that would lead to improving your sense of well-being or lifestyle. So it's the choices that you make. All right. Um, and the wheel signifies that even though you are part of the greater cycle or universal or collective energies, destiny is about taking responsibility for your actions rather than blaming those actions on fate. Okay. All right. So the last card here is about... Um, it's about stay optimistic about your love life. P 
positive thinking and faith will bring you romance. Okay? All right. Perfect. Because there's the abundance. Positive thinking. This is not positive thinking. All right? Don't get tied up in this negative thinking, negative patterns, because you have the luck. It's just choices do you, that you make. Do you choose to be optimistic or negative? Okay? If you choose to be optimistic, you can make those right choices. Stay And this card is backing that up. Stay optimistic about your love life. Positive thinking and faith will bring you romance. Okay? All right. Uh, this is your reading then. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope that it helps. Like I said, if you're interested in a private reading, please email me and I will send you the information. And I hope all you Leos have a wonderful month. Bye-bye.